Okay, so we're here at the last part where we're going to enter Photoshop. Now, it's always a hobby of my, a habit of mine to open up um, our file externally from Photoshop. And what I mean by that is, instead of clicking on Photoshop and opening it up first and then opening our, our file, I like to just double click on the OBJ and have it open up Photoshop for me. Most of the time it's because whenever I try to open up Photoshop first and then select the OBJ, I usually get this invalid file type error or something. And I learned that doing it this way kind of cuts down on that. So give it a second to load. Alright, so now we have our shirt in here. And uh, we're going to use our 3D tools to rotate this around. The 3D tools are usually down here at the bottom of your toolbar. And you just rotate it around like so. And I'm going to use the mirror, the magnifying glass to make sure that the workspace fit my screen. If you want to zoom in, you would just use the 3D tools. They all are pretty uh, self-explanatory on which one they do. If you want to zoom in, you would just use the camera tools down here, where it says 3D zoom, and this will zoom in the actual model. You don't want to use the magnifying glass going in like this, because all you're really doing is zooming in the workspace and not the actual model. So you want to use the camera zoom when you're doing that. And this right here is the roll to rotate everything around, and roll to straighten this out. Okay. So we have our text, our shirt here, and I'm actually going to make this down so we can see stuff better. There we go. Alright, so now we have our shirt, and we're going to go over here to the bottom right-hand corner, and you'll see a box that says layers, and then you'll see textures, and then it says diffuse, and I'm going to double-click on that little t-shirt six right here. And you'll see we have our shadow map inside here. Now, if you double click on the textures underneath the fuse and stuff, and you see that you don't have your shadow map, all you have to do is just grab your stuff and then drag it over and then put it into the workspace like that, and then you'll have it. But because mine was with it, we don't have to do that. So now we have our shadow map here, and now we get the paint on top of it. This is where you would create oh well first we have to create a new layer so I'm gonna go back I skipped a step so you want to go to your layers panel down here and you want to press this little button in between the folder and the trash can and it's the new layer button when you have the new layer button this will allow you to add like you know stuff on top of your 2D layer here like a new, a new layer <laughs> and um, this is where I would say you would decide where what color you want your t-shirt because um, it's easier for us to select a t-shirt color in here and grab the pink bucket which is huh what happened to me pink bucket I feel like I'm looking right at it there it is pink bucket and put in the color and then press like multiply or color burn depends on just scan through here and see which t-shirt gets the color that you like overlay is pretty popular mm, I like multiply I'm a multiply girl <laughs> okay so it's easier to do that and then color your shirt than it is to go into there and try to paint your whole shirt blue and then once you have the base color selected, we're going to create a new layer. And this is going to be where we put all our graphics and stuff on. So once we have our new layer selected, I'm going to uh, press X at the top and say yes. And now when we have our Marvelous loaded in, you see we have our color. Our now blue shirt. Now to start designing on your shirt, it's pretty simple here. You just take your brush and you can paint on it whatever you want. And as you see, well, that's a little lewd. Okay, so we make whatever design we want on here. And you see, when you go back into t-shirts, the pattern is transferred over to the 2D layer. Now let's say, I'm going to create a new layer here. We want to create text onto our shirt. Now, that's simple too. All we have to do is open up our text bar, or text block. Uh, spread open our text bar right in something this shirt has text <laughs> and you can choose the size choose the color up here 
and uh, you can even change the font if you want to and you can go into the blending properties here and you know give it more shadow or inner gloss whatever you want on there to make it look the way you want I'm not very good when it comes to text art or anything so it's really up to you to play around with it as you want so once you have all the text that you want on here you just select the paintbrush and click on it and it'll give you this error say okay then go over to the layers and then right click on it and select merge down and now you see that your shirt has text <laughs> it went on to your shirt like this so now you have text whatever you want on there now let's say you want the fun stuff I'm gonna create a new layer again and we want to put a picture on our shirt so I'm gonna hit okay and um, I'm gonna go to my favorite whoops see Daisy hang on one second don't look at my chrome Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go to my favorite T-shirt website, Once Upon a T, and uh, let's see, find a graphic for a shirt, Dragoon Academy. Why not? You can put any picture or graphic here. I just like T-shirt websites because it's a bunch of T-shirts that I would like to have in real life, but they are super expensive. So I'm gonna save it to my desktop, and I'm gonna right-click on it and say Open to Photoshop. And I'm going to clean up this black background. So I'm just going to grab my eraser tool and use the magic eraser and erase that. Now I know that looks really bad, but it's not as bad as it looks. It would be a lot easier if I had a black t-shirt. But I'm just cleaning this up. Now I might leave some of the black stars there. Of course I picked the most complicated one ever, yeah? Okay. All right. So we have this, and I want to select it all. I could pick a prettier image, one that doesn't look so busted once it's clear. <laughs> all right, and I'm just gonna copy, go back to my T-shirt, press paste, put it where I want it, and then like the the like we did. <sighs> with the text, you're just going to right click on that graphic layer and push merge down and it's going to go onto the shirt. Then I'll my t-shirt and um, let's see. Huh. Alright, you know what? Let's find a different graphic. I don't like that one. That was a bad example. It only looks good when a t-shirt's black. I mean, I'm sure, you know, it is jacked up and holy, so it really didn't match. It's just Let's see. By collection. Oh, you know what? There was a pretty stitch one that I liked. Come on, stitch. My internet's chuggy today. Oh, magical. Like, you know, Magic Kingdom. That's funny, I get it. Okay, I like this shirt. And in fact, I'm going to wear this shirt later. I was going to order it back when it was on sale, but I'm a little too messy to have white. So I'm going to click on this picture. Yeah, this is a lot cleaner. Than the other one. Alright, so select all, copy, paste, and uh, use my trans free, what is it, free transform, and put it on the shirt the way I want it to be. It would also help that if my model was a little straighter. There we go. And then we just merge down. And there we go. Now we have our graphic on our t-shirt. Like so. So now, once we are done with our t-shirt and it's really pretty the way we want it, we just save our texture. File. 
save as if there's no transparency in it we just put it as a jpeg if it is transparency then it's a ping i'm gonna save it on my desktop because i want to quickly jump in there and grab it and uh because this t-shirt is has a different uv layout than the one i have in second life i have to re-export this shirt real quick so i'm gonna file export regular mm, this one 2.1 Save. and then I'm gonna go on second life and do it so hang on let me log in again okay sorry about that all right so I'm going to upload this thing again because I gotta remember to do it first oh there it is <laughs> okay so then we put our shirt on Come on, come on, put on that shirt. I think I just took the shirt off. My internet's going really slow, so Second Life is by proxy going slow. <clears throat> so give me a second, be right back. <laughs> as soon as I paused it, it snapped right on. Okay, so now when we go and take our shirt, and then we go to texture. And we go to local because I'm not spending no more money on this project. Go to my desktop, scroll down, have our t-shirt pattern. You see, he's wearing our Ohana shirt. Now, forgive the clipping that's going on right there. That's just me when I'm tearing my arm in some weird unnatural position. So yeah, you see, we have our t-shirt. We have our shading, I think. Anyway, you got a, a, a shirt. And you can put more detail in there, add more shading or whatever. But this is just a basic tutorial to show you, you know, the very basics of how to texture and how to make a quick graphic t-shirt and some quick 10 when you go to sell this on the marketplace, which I should totally do because my money's is low. Anyway, enough about me. That concludes, um, <clears throat> anyway, so this concludes our tutorial. I told you everything you need to know, how to make a garment, how to rig it, how to texture it, and how to play around with it <laughs> you are now a master at making clothes for the beliza jake i'm so happy for you congratulations well that's it for part one of this uh tutorial suite we have to move on to the other beliza lady and get her out of the way and then we're done with the beliza yay that's calls for more cheer <laughs> anyway i hope the tutorial helped you out and that you have the, they now have the ability to create lots and lots of garments. So like always, as I say, good luck and have fun creating. This has been Zero to Tenth. I'll see you guys later. Bye.